coming on this Wednesday. It's going to be a great one because you are hunkered down watching Today in Nashville. What a show we have for you today. Carly Gordon's here. Hi, good friends. to see you. Oh, good to see you, sister. Thanks for having me. Oh, my gosh. Listen, we are so excited. One, to have you here. Two, we've got one hotel in our kitchen. We are talking food and wine event. It is going to be so much fun. We've got incredible music by Ryan Stevenson. I mean, this guy has just dominated in the Christian oh, music space. Awesome. So he's treating us. It's basically a private concert. And he is a religious figure of a different kind. Soccer Moses <laughs> is here calling out to all people. And it's not just for Nashville SC where you usually see him. He is calling out to help um, our furry friends at Nashville Humane. Aww. He has got a concert coming up, Nuns and Moses. Yes, sir. So anyway, we're going to be talking to Soccer Moses in just a little bit. Isn't that so, so such a celebrity? I'm he trying really to is. wrap or my head around all of the things that he does. Yes. <laughs> Three-time Grammy woman, winner, Jars of Clay, might run a barber shop. <laughs> yes, that's true. Unreal. And his alter ego of Soccer Moses. Unbelievable. It's incredible. Yeah. yeah, but this concert, Nuns and Moses, um, a play on Guns N' Roses, and it's going to be a lot of fun. And it's free, so stick around Whoa. if you can hear more about it. I know. Awesome. What a celebrity. And you played Celebrity Judge recently. <gasps> oh, Carol, I had so much Tell fun. Me. Okay, so have you heard of the W.O. Smith Music School in Nashville? Yes. I, I, not everybody has heard of them. No, but, no, no, but they do a lot of things. And so. they've been doing it since yeah. the 1980s in Nashville. They provide free, not free, 50-cent music lessons to kids who wouldn't otherwise have the opportunity. And so they had local business members battling it out on stage it was a battle of the bands thing and I have oh battle of the bands yes and I, I have that. no musical talent so I don't know why they let me be a judge but what I do know is it was a ton of fun on a Monday night and by the end of it I was standing up I felt like I was at a rock concert it oh. was awesome and they raised so much money I mean 10,000 in ticket sales alone that's amazing yeah, yeah, yeah. the W.O. Smith Music School doing that affordable music lessons which makes so much sense in this city exactly um, that yeah. people are, we know the power of music and certainly helping helping anyone but giving real purpose yeah. to kids it's is the a universal big, big language yeah, yeah I loved it. it is it is it's one that I don't speak <laughs> at all but you enjoy listening to it I, I know you do I do I do I do I sort of marvel that I have three kids in this city and none of them uh. want to play an instrument <laughs> None. Do they sing? No. Oh. Nothing. I was like, nothing? You know, it's almost like you feel like you put them in this spot and that they would just like, everything around them would make them like, more. Carol, they bring you so time. much joy. Well, they bring me joy, but I'm just shocked that that, that arts level is not there. Yeah. I mean, I played the string bass, people. Well, no, my kids were banging on pots and pans the other day, yeah. so uh, there's not much hope for me yeah. either. No, that's good. We need more drummers. That's good. <laughs> get, get drummers in there. Okay, uh, school is back for you, yes? Yes. Okay. This is kind of new for me. We've switched to all these schedules, and yeah, yeah I'm in the thick of all the emails and uh, the bring the snacks on this day, and anyway. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a lot. It's worse. You're a pro. No, I am not that. I fail every single day. And I get reminders how I do um, no. between all three of them. No, 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 in a kind way. I just see the emails and go, oh, I should have looked at that three days ago. <laughs> but there were 5,000 of them, right. and now I'm just seeing it. Yeah, check this attachment. It's yeah. in a previous email. It's in an upcoming it's email. It's a lot. But really, I, I see there's a lot on these teachers because mm -hmm. it's really the parents that also ask of this incredible level of communication of so like we have to we made this bath we got to swim in it we got to like <laughs> bathe in it or whatever I think I just made up that phrase but I like it better you know than what I'm the, saying we're like we one. need to know more about what's going on in our kids schools so our teachers now are taxed with telling us every detail yes and then we get upset that we have a thousand emails in our inbox that's right so to you so. teachers out there thank you thank you <laughs> for what you're doing so yes so, we do so much um the one thing everybody is talking about is the hot weather. I mean, it is unbelievable. I don't know if this dress is socially acceptable for the news today, but Beautiful. I'm just trying to wear the least amount of clothes as possible. It's just like straps and a pillowcase kind of. It's all I can handle okay, right now. Okay, first of all, I'm obsessed with the dress. Oh, it looks you. absolutely gorgeous on you. And your, your workouts kind. are like shining. I've got major arm envy. You look incredible. Speaking of arms, can we talk about that watch? Oh, yeah. My I have been eyeing it since we sat for, down. Thank you for noticing. It might remind you of candy I necklaces. I was like, I like your 
a bracelet, and then she turns around as a watch. It's a watch. <laughs> now, you're too young for this, but Swatch Watch was a thing yeah, back yeah. in the day. And so when I was little, I got a Swatch Watch, and I was very excited about it because it was like my most prized possession. And this is a Swatch Watch. Oh, how cool. So Throwing it just back. brings me joy. Yes, I lost that Swatch Watch at a Madonna concert, oh. and I spent almost the entire concert on the floor. Oh, no. For it. Yeah, but <laughs> anyway, so I'm having apparently my midlife crisis through my Swatch Watch. Okay, real quick, I want to talk about um, this hot weather and keeping cool because oh. this is the way that I would totally be too, like less is the best way to go. Yeah. But there was an article in the New York Times about really tropical places in India, the hottest places of the world on how they keep cool. Mm -hmm. And so here's some quick tips that I got from the article. Okay, covering up. Huh. Covering <laughs> up Whoops. is actually <laughs> one of the best ways wearing these light, light, long, flowy. Mm -hmm. You will feel cooler and this is the first year it took me 50 years to learn this in my life, that wearing longer garments make me feel cool. So it's working? Yes, I've been doing it all summer. Okay. I have these like long thin pants and it, I'm exponentially cooler and I do not stick to chairs <laughs> and I feel less gross. So covering up it. is a way to go. Here's the other one and this is fun. Spritz yourself what is with that, water. <laughs> no, you're gonna love it. Is it holy water? <laughs> Look, I'm like Moses. Just, it is not holy water, but we might be able to get it blessed. You guys don't by... warn me when I come okay, to the so show. Okay, so here's that I'm be why assaulted you want to spritz yourself, because it, this water on your skin with the air, do it. It feels amazing. Don't you feel refreshed? I think so. So they do this. <laughs> you just feel wet, I don't you? Assaulted. I might have overdone it. But spritz yourself with water. It will allow your body to feel more cool. That cooling aspect, the air hitting the cool pellets, the droplets of water, um, and then this one threw me. We have gazpacho, which is a cold soup at our kitchen with one kitchen. Hydrating through food, where you're doing like those watermelons mm, and soups. Yeah. But hot soup I is traditionally consumed in the tropics during hot weather. It increases the sweat. The water droplets make you feel cool. I can see and there this you go. because you know, you would think you wouldn't want to do hot yoga in weather like this, but for some reason doing hot yoga seems to make me feel less worse than when I'm outside. Yeah, hot yoga sounds awful, but hot <laughs> soup, I might give it a go, okay. right? So there you go. You do you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And same for you. And that's what I love about this world. <laughs> well, speaking of food, the culinary adventure awakes us. It's at the One Hotel Nashville.